boys and girls. Today we are going to read the next chapter in our um, Elmer and the Dragon book. Now Elmer and the Dragon, remember, is written by Ruth Style Gannett and really illustrated by Ruth Patricia Gannett. And our chapter today is chapter 7. Last week we read chapter 6. This week is chapter 7. And next week will be chapter, hmm, chapter 8. You're right. So, let's see. This chapter is called The Secret. Wake up, wake up. It's time to see the king, chirped flute as the red sun settled over the meadow. Elmer opened his eyes and forgot for a moment where he was. Then he jumped up and put on his knapsack. I want to come too, yawned the dragon. You weren't invited, said Flute. Neither were you, Flute. Come to think of it, said Elmer. Let's all go and see what happens, suggested the dragon. So off they went to see the king. He was waiting for them at the foot of a very tall tree, nervously hopping from one foot to another, pecking at imaginary mosquitoes. What's that? he asked, pointing at the dragon. That's my good friend, the baby dragon. I rescued him two days ago, and now he's taking me home. I don't like him, said the king, feeling small and helpless. Oh, yes you do, said Flute. Quiet, Flute. I guess I know what I like and what I don't like dragon drooped his head and began to back away. Oh well, said the king, come on back. If I'm going to tell the secret to anyone, it'll never be a secret anymore, and I suppose you might as well know too. I do wish it weren't such an old secret. Flute, the dragon, and Elmer waited quietly while the king looked at the ground, then up at the tree and down at the ground. Treasure, he whispered, so suddenly that they all jumped in the air. <clears throat> At least I think it's treasure, but I can't find out without your help. Where, said Elmer. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's not very far from here, said the king. <clears throat> Elmer, flute, and the dragon looked every which way to see where the treasure could be. Oh, gosh. I guess I'll have to tell you where, too, said poor old King Cain the Eleventh. It's buried. It's buried right under this tree in a big iron chest. What sort of treasure? asked El Elmer. That's what I'm dying of curiosity to know, said the king. So that's it, sighed Flute. And you're sure this is the right tree, asked Elmer. Absolutely. You see, it's much bigger than the others, and that's because it was the only one here when the settlers came. They planted the other pines and the apple orchard so they'd have wood and food when they returned, but they never came back, and their chest is still buried right here. Everybody waited for the king to continue, but he didn't, so Elmer said, Let's dig it up. Yes, let's, echoed Flute. All right, said the king. My secret's all spoiled now anyway. You'll find a shovel under that rock. What shovel, asked Elmer. The settlers left a shovel over there. It's rusty by now, but it's probably better than nothing. Elmer went to get the shovel, and while the king danced around on pine needles chirping, I'm feeling better already. The queen kept chittering and muttering to herself. I never thought I'd live to see the day. Now, where should I begin digging? asked Elmer. See, there's Elmer, and he's getting ready to dig. <clears throat> it's a rhyme, said the king. It goes like this. Four shovel lengths from the trunk of the pine making the rock the guide for the line. 
Elmer carefully measured the distance and began to dig. The dragon did his best to help while Flute and the king and queen sat watching the hole growing deeper. By now it was dark in the, pi in the pine forest, but enough moonlight filtered through the branches of the tall trees so that they could dig just to see what they were doing. They dug for six hours without ever hitting a tree root or a rock or anything like an iron chest. Are you certain this is the right place? asked Elmer. Tired and discouraged. I'm positive, said the king. Just then, the moon went under the clouds and Elmer's shovel hit something with a law loud clang. The chest, they all shouted but it was too dark to see, and they waited so long for the moon to come out that they all went to sleep, waiting. And there's Elmer digging and the dragon standing by. Up, oh. and that's the end of our chapter. Good heavens, we have to wait until next week to find out maybe what's in the treasure. I hope you all are doing well. I miss every one of you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.